Hey, what's going on guys? Petey here. So today we're going to be looking at the officers for this week and see what see what we got. What What's good? Alright. So starting off first, we have Yamato. So this is one of two uh, cruiser uh, officers. Sorry, a little brain fart. So one of two cruiser officers that you can purchase. Um, for Navy, like, I think there's only six officers total that affect like cruisers, battleships, and then all ships type deal. So, if you like Navy and you're trying to get into it, uh, you should definitely pick this guy up. Cruisers are very, very important for a Navy to have. Otherwise, you're going to get bombed by mitts. Um, as a, these are the only guys that can shoot up besides destroyers. So, um, very good pickup here. Only 15 bucks for your moto if you're trying to get into Navy. If you don't have them already, definitely pick him up. If you don't care about Navy, then leave him alone. Next up, we have one of my favorite officers. Oh, never mind. It's not this guy. This is Baldy, Baldy Tiger. So this is the only Tiger tank and Pershing tank officer. He gives some really good bonuses, a lot of move speed, which is really important. HP versus building, no versus armor, um, because there's another t heavy tank officer that gives the versus armor. But uh, he gives a lot of good bonuses to Tigers, and I believe he's only 10 or $15. So if you're running tanker, or if you think you're going to use Tigers in the future, I definitely recommend picking this guy up. Um, those bonuses help out a lot, especially move speed. Next up, we have Jack Fletcher, which I don't know if this dude's free. I don't know if he costs money, because I got this guy for free when I first started playing the game like three, four years ago. But I don't know if he costs any. It's weird to see him here. I've never seen him here before. But um, let's analyze him. 5% HP, 25% move for your ships. That's pretty solid. I don't know how much he costs, so I can't really say if he should buy it or not. But I know that move speed is important. Like I said, I got him for free, so it's really weird to see this. But I'd say if he's 10 bucks and you're trying to max your Navy, you can do it. But like I said, there's six Navy officers, not counting this guy. Okay, so you won't really have space if you're running a full Navy. So take that into consideration too. Next up, we have Winston Churchill. So this guy's $40. Winston Churchill, the big bad British man. Um, so he gives versus 30% to aircraft. Um, he gives you plus 13% for fortune, plus 23% for oil, and then versus 30% for versus aircraft and admin areas. So um, he gives some really good stats. I mean, plus 23% oil production. I did a video on this before talking about if this guy's worth it because 23% oil production, I think uh, one like oil resource zone, if you have two of them, two oil factories on it, each one does 100. If you level it up all the way, it does 180 per hour. Um, for one of them, so that'd be 360 for the whole zone. Sorry to math you out. Uh, 360, 25% of 360 is about 80. So for this guy, for him to be fully max, you'd get, he'd give you an extra 80 oil per hour. Um, so I did that with Fortune too, and it really comes out to be like very negligible. Um, the only time I recommend buying this guy is if you already have most of the officers and you don't mind spending $40, like you're just balling out. And you want to have all the officers. Other than that, this guy is a skip. Even if you're airman. I mean, I know fortune and oil are really important early game. But you're going to be using other officers. Such as tank officers, stug officers. Stuff like that. Um, before you get to bombers. So I say it's a no-go here. He could be useful. But for $40, it's too much. Next up, we have Alan Brook. This guy I highly recommend. He is a very, very good FLAC 41, FLAC 36 officer. Um, he, you, know, you can just see his bonuses, man. He's, he's pegged out. Good HP bonuses, good versus aircraft bonus. Flak are really good against armor, too. So, um, very solid here. Alan Brook, I think he's pretty cheap, too, either $15 or $20. And he's a, he's a very good pickup. Um, if I was an airman, or I would, I would consider getting this guy pretty early because... You with every armor you run, you're going to be running flak too, whether it be airman, cannoneer, or tanker. So you're going to be running flak, and these bonuses help out a lot. So yeah. Um, next up, we have is this my favorite? This is my favorite officer. So Clement Baroshilov. So this guy is a stug officer. He gives you a little bit of HP. Um, the big thing is he gives you plus 10% attack range to your stugs. Now, if you guys don't know this, stugs have 180 attack range. And through the tanker tree, 
you can get you can unlock i think it's a plus 20 percent attack range so you could make your stugs have 216 um it's really really cool for early game because when you go into taking like resource zones and um farms that have sniper towers and stuff or even cities that have level one turrets you don't get shot back from them like you outrange them so they can't shoot you um it's really really cool and really helpful but if you're not running tanker you don't get that attack range bonus that's where this guy comes in that's where if you're airman or cannoneer you slap this guy on and you'll be at like 186 attack range or 196 something like that and uh you'll still be able to not get shot by him any sniper towers or anything like that you can still run around you also get a bunch of ammo um, to make your studs last a little while longer and yeah so and this guy's only like 15 bucks so he's a really good stug officer there's another stug officer that does like damages and stuff he's really good too but i highly recommend this guy just because uh, early game everybody is going to go through the light tank stug phase and this makes your stugs way better so next up oh my god we have my my other favorite officer yasuji so this guy's really cool because he does attack range but to m101s so m101 howitzers they have 250 attack range right off the rip and this guy puts him up to 287 i think when he's fully maxed up and then look at that building damage jesus um so he puts it up to 287 and then if there's someone else in your league who throws this guy into the league city and lets him be a league officer then you get that plus seven, whatever the 70, it's like plus 12% attack range. And it pushes it barely over 300 attack range. And so your M101 howitzers can outkite anything. It can outkite level five turrets, anything rebel, they won't be shot back by the, by um, the, the M101s. So yeah, this makes them very, 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 very good for killing rebels, for killing Wathen, and even for PVP. So uh, Yusuji, he's only 15. Yeah, highly recommend on this guy. Highly recommend. All right, next up, we have Georgie. Oh my gosh. I talk about this dude in every troop breakdown video I make because he's apl applicable to everybody. Uh, he gives you plus 175 defense when you're defending your territory or allies' territory. He gives you some farm and some iron mine bonuses. This dude is just straight up not worth it. Um, if you're going to, if you want an officer like this, I would go with Winston Churchill. Um, because he gives a little bit better bonuses. Defense plus 175 is like nothing. So I highly recommend you don't buy this guy. Okay. Uh, last but not least, we have Hannah Reich. So um, this officer is good for C47s and the Gigants. Gives you a little bit of HP, a uh, little bit of defense, and then lower morale loss plus 100% so that your, your troops won't lose morale. Now, I haven't been in too many situations where my gigs or my transports have low morale on them. I've seen it before, but um, for $28, getting a little bit of HP bonus and a little bit of defense is not worth it. If you're running around with gigs, you more than likely are going to have a bunch of officers equipped too, whether it be M40 officers, tank officers, or bomber officers. Um, so to worry about putting a plus 20% HP on your gigs is just kind of... Uh, negligible especially for thirty dollars if this chick was five bucks i would say get it but for thirty dollars it's just not worth it um so yeah so that's it for the officers guys um pretty pretty solid week this week uh i'm, I'm waiting for the douglas officer that's the only officer i need still but yeah there's some really good ones here all these i'll say this i haven't used him too much because i'm not i was thinking of switching back to tanker but i haven't so I haven't really used him. I never use him. These three guys I use almost consistently. I use these two every single field, no matter what. This guy on like farming maps. And yeah, so three really good picks here. Um, they aren't necessarily for builds like the, the flak officer is. Meaning builds, meaning like if you're just going to focus on airmen, focus on cannoneer, focus on uh, tank. They're not necessarily for that, but they do help out in other areas throughout so, you know, situational based areas. The Stug Officer, I always use light tanks and Stugs in the beginning of the field every single time. So I always use him. Alan Brook, I always have Flak floating around with me when I'm flying around. And then Yusuji, um, he's situational, but it's just so nice to be able to outrange every enemy on the field. So yeah, um, that's it for me, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. 
Um, this has been Petey with another officer update video, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peter out. I'm going, I'm going.